Yeah, yeah so this is a house of pressure. You know, so I use this to demonstrate building performance. Could be HVAC issues, duct leakage, door closure, combustion safety. We can do blower door. Our company is called Community Housing Partners. We have a training center that does training on building performance, HVAC. We also work a lot with the federal weatherization program. It's kind of my background. Mainly I do training, consulting, you know, around the country, even in South America and Argentina and some other places like that too. But developed this house actually about 30 years ago. It doesn't, didn't look as nice as this, but it's basically a visual demonstration to kind of explain these concepts. You know, instead of just talking about theory or showing a slide, we can actually do some hands-on demonstrations. You know, I can demo it or I can let students actually operate it themselves and kind of, you know, figure things out, what's going on okay. and, and that kind of thing. So just real quick, you know, this, is, this could be like a, either a basement or unconditioned crawl space, whatever I want to call it. Uh, we have like a room here with an exhaust fan. We have a room over here, like a bedroom. We have supply ducts, these red ducts here. Okay. And then the, the blue one here is, is more like a central return. Okay. So air is blowing through, goes through the building. In this case, I have little doors. Uh, so the doors right here, you can see they have like little uh, strings that I can open and close the doors and that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. So we can change, you know, how you might set up the house. Okay. Uh, and then the system has where we can make leaks in the ductwork. I also have some combustion appliances, a water heater and, and dryers and mechanical fans. So you can kind of turn on all those things and dynamically and see what happens to the house. So right now I have just uh, the furnace fan on, which is I have a fan and it's all ducted here. Uh, I use a little smoke pencil here. Uh, maybe this will show up for you. I don't know if you're able to dial in there a little bit, but that's pulling air in. Uh -huh. And then your supplies, of course, they're blowing air out. And ideally those are balanced. In other words, you're blowing the same amount of air in as you're pulling back to gotcha. your system. So it really okay. doesn't affect the pressure in the house too much. So on the inside here, we do have a manometer that's going to measure pressures in the building. And so uh, if you want to turn that fan, I'll just turn it off right here for a second. So I'm going to turn the fan off, but basically we turn the air handler fan on to see what happens to the pressures in the building. And in this case, uh, if it goes positive or negative, you know, so it might give us an indication of duct leaky. Ideally, when it comes on, uh, it shouldn't make much of a difference in the pressure. But if I make a leak in the ductwork, like the, the red duct down there, supply duct, so if he makes a leak in that duct uh, over there, you can kind of see where he takes the duct off, right? Now, you can see the pressure there is kind of about equalizes out. Now, when he removes that, now some of the supplier that was blowing out here, now blowing out now blowing the out. leak. 